Welcome to Revitalized Womanhood, Kelly. You are so cute. <laughs> thank you for being on oh, my show. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having we me. We are in Colorado. We are in Breckenridge, outside of Breckenridge, Colorado. And and if you couldn't tell, we decided to choose our outfits. Well, you can't tell because you're listening to this. So you'll have to go to YouTube to look at the video of this. <laughs> but we decided to wear our most Colorado, most um, dumb and dumbery looking outfits we could find you gotta go look we wanted to inspire <laughs> this episode <laughs> but you guys this is only going to be one of my first three episodes so the my listeners don't really know me yet and mm -hmm. so they don't realize that this is going to be the first of many mm -hmm. episodes to be where i'm traveling on location that's exciting I, it's exciting, but look at what we did in here. You yeah. guys, yeah, again, you're going to have to see the YouTube, Yeah. but you, I've got this, we're in a bedroom and I've got this wonderful table. At least you had this great table that I've got all Just my equipment set up on. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself and Kelly's microphone is like balance beamed here if, on frames on frames and, <laughs> and she can't move. I'm like, no. Kelly, don't move. We're good. Don't move. We're good. <laughs> And it, it's we don't amazing. have to chase after kids for guess a what? little We're bit. We're moms I and know. we made it work. And my key light, it's being held up by the teepee. A teepee. My teepee. Legit. That's a kid teepee. Mm -hmm. Legit a kid teepee holding mm -hmm. up the key light. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some, we're going to have to do some back backstage. I already or, have a um, video. Behind the scenes. That's yes. the word. Hello. <laughs> the mom brain is real. It's real. It's like, what? Are we we should be mm. cooking dinner right now. 610. We sent the boys fishing. The boys went fishing and river. we are yeah. fried. Yeah. Kelly's had a full week here. Oh, it's been so good. Rick and I drove out. Yes. Rick and I drove out two days ago, a day ago, two days ago. Something <laughs> like that. And we go home tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It was a quick trip, but a quick trip. they made it work so and that so, we could see them. So Kelly is my friend mm -hmm. from Minnesota mm -hmm. and they are part of an amazing hunting ranch mm -hmm. and then they do things in the fall they have a pumpkin patch and then but you know what you'll you'll have to tell me because i'm the worst friend because kelly yeah. and i you guys we don't really know each other that well but we but really we are, do but yeah <laughs> but we know each other really well because yeah. we're basically the same person mm -hmm. it's it's she is my doppelganger mm -hmm. if you've ever found your doppelganger in life i know some people call you and they're like oh my gosh i saw your doppelganger <laughs> No, this is to the extreme where her mm. husband saw one of us in the kitchen. I don't think either of us still know who it is. No. And he went to like put his arms around her, but then he stopped himself because <laughs> he's like, wait a minute. I don't know who that is. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Matt, get off me. Get off. <laughs> Kelly. No, but we went to Alaska to see you and I had only met you one time. Yeah. For like two days, maybe. Yeah. And it was just boy mom to boy mom and we're good. And yeah. On clicked, all the levels. And so awesome. That's what... 40 does to you <laughs> that's what 40 does to you it yeah. makes you realize mm -hmm. what relationships you when bet. you feel them and they're good mm -hmm. and you're like cling to them like grim death you bet <laughs> and the ones that don't feel good mm -hmm. you feel like you actually can give yourself permission to just mm -hmm. release them back into mm -hmm. the universe mm -hmm. like a little lantern floating <laughs> up into the sky you guys if you like only tangled. knew how funny this girl is like <laughs> hang on because you are like ready for a fun girlfriend ride right it's awesome. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Aww. And I feel like I've known you for literally forever. It's true. It's true. We, we discipline our kids in front of each other. Our oh. husbands discipline our, each other's kids. Our, our husbands discipline yeah. us in front of, of our kids. Our kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's so fun. So tell me what else. you Before you were a stay-at-home mm -hmm. mom, you were a badass nurse. Yeah, I'm a registered nurse. So fun. I worked um, 15 years just on a small hospital in Morris and med surge, ER, OB, um, ICU. I love delivery. I love emergency. I love stress. I thrive off of it and it's fine and it's good and I'm trained for that. So that's really fun. Um, I really use a lot of that in my life now. But um, yeah, we just had problems with my son, which we'll talk about in a little bit. And um, I quit my job. The hours were too much and it was time for me just to direct, you know, all my focus on him. And here we are doing really well. Um, but yeah, my time was 12 hour shifts, weekends, nights. Um, really, really fun. Love my patients. I miss it. But I think that was a phase of my life that brought me to here. And 
all those little steps along the way, even if it was a 15 year chunk. Um, I'm happy I did it. I'm, you know, I would love to maybe go back someday, but I'm, I, we're good. We're good where we're at, but I can use it in everyday life situations. Um, not a lot really stresses me out anymore. So it's so true. It's so true. Yeah. You, I like that you said that it brought you to where you are now mm -hmm. because that's what life is. Mm -hmm. It is. You cannot have regrets. I mean, obviously, well, I guess I shouldn't say that. I have some things that I'm like, oh, maybe yeah. some people should. If they yeah. did that, they would regret it. But right. I don't regret no, it because no. it brought me to where mm -hmm. I am. Yeah, now. it's a stepping stone to where you are. So and sometimes those are just a one year battle, a one month battle, 15 year, year you know, thing. But um, they're all different and you never know how long it's going to take. So you need to cling on to those moments and enjoy them. That's why enjoying the time that you're there fully. If you're not move on. You know, there's a not, there's something else for you. Enjoy your time. I think nurses are hardcore. And that's funny that so you said fun. you were everything because yeah. that's, it's, that must be a small town, small town. atmosphere. Yep. You have to just wear every hat. Small town nurses, you change the beds, you do everything. Yeah. And, because yeah. in normal, huge metropolitan mm -hmm. hospitals, if you're an ER mm -hmm. nurse, you're an ER nurse. That's you're it. not in you bet. You're not going to, oh you're yeah, not. I'll deliver a baby and run to the ER after that. And yeah, maybe Intake we'll be and... yeah, pushing meds in the next room or someone's dying in the next room. You oh know, my gosh. it's Busy, really good everything. Yeah, it's so fun. So that's what I was for 15 years. And um, it's been good. I'm enjoying my time at home too, but still finding other little things to keep me busy. And so I actually love my time with my boys, the yes. pumpkins. She and... is also a boy mom, three-time yeah. boy mom, just yeah, like me, guys. Time. Again, and that's a chore. My doppelganger. Yes. And they are about the same ages. Yeah, they are. I know. Are. I'm hiding behind my microphone here. I'm looking. I'm like, oh, there I am. We have like three boys at the same developmental ages right now, too. Oh, yes. And so this is what I actually, we can just uh -huh. jump right into this because mm -hmm. you know moms and they don't have a lot of time. Yeah. And so any of the moms that are listening to this in their car or mm -hmm. trying to rush to take kids to school or between activities, whatever, my friend Kelly here is the most amazing from the moment I met her special needs mom mm -hmm. that I cannot even tell you what a rock star this couple is and they have figured it out and I'm sure it wasn't always figured out and I'm sure it's been a bumpy road and it's led her to now and I thought I need you on this podcast I just got chills like up through my skull Yay. through my hair <laughs> down through my arms I just got chills there's somebody out there that needs to hear your message mm -hmm. And I would love for you to tell us about Carson. Mm -hmm. Well, Carson is 14. Um, super curly, dark hair. Cutest. Big Best smile. smile. Amazing. Um, I can't believe he's 14. You know, that time just goes by so fast. But um, I can just start out with a quick little story. I don't want to drag it on. Yeah. He is special needs. You know, it was up and down with trying to find a diagnosis. Um, we do say he has cerebral palsy. Um, there is an umbrella with that that goes along with that, too. So we just... Um, yeah, that's his diagnosis, but there's more than that. So I'd say a cognitive disability and physical disability. Um, but man, we've gone leaps and bounds. I mean, it took him six years to learn to walk. Um, still does not talk, so he is nonverbal. Um, he does everything with clapping and smiles and um, just wandering and following everybody around. So he's, he's a sweet boy, but definitely challenges along the way. We will still have them. They will still come, but we are no longer scared of them. Um, I think when you hit a place in your life where it was rock bottom and then it still went rock bottom and you kept going and you did not think you would ever get out of it. Um, along that way, you find the people that you need. And our situation is just a situation that everybody goes through in a different way. Um, everybody hits rock bottom. And then you just, sometimes people keep tumbling and sometimes they go above it. Um, but you find the people that are there for you, um, the love. Um, we have a great community, a small community that's so wonderful. And our family and our friends have been there for us since, you know, day one. But how fun to meet people now that can just embrace us because we're fully confident um, in our situation. Um, so we know what he needs. We know what he doesn't need. What doesn't work? Colorado. It's his jam. It is his jam. He's it's doing so well here. He's thriving. So, he is he thriving. Is, so. so when did you, 
it, because you didn't know when he was a no, baby, right? No. You didn't know when no. he was one. You didn't know until until about two months. Yeah, he no. just labor and delivery was rough, um, which happens. Um, but about two, he choked on his bottle. Just wasn't a good nurser. Um, but in hindsight, he had no, you know, no reflex to like latch on at all oh, first yeah. time mom you know i can do this i'm determined you know sometimes it took four hours but he choked on a bottle um transferred to this you know bigger st hospital and at that point they you know started just to, little bits and pieces like i think it's a seizure um start him on the phenobarb drip right now he's smacking his lips so like what so three days where he was just kind of conked out you know and scariest time he's eight weeks old it's Horrible. our first baby you know i'm a nurse but i think the worst and all the drips that i don't deal with you know and um so the doctors came in neurology genetics cardiology all the people we got hooked up with, which was great, but it was, it was terrifying. It flipped our world upside Two down. Two months old. That's yeah. terrifying. Your tiny little baby seeing yeah. this happening to him and yeah. not having any answers. That's even no. more terrifying. And, and we how still do you thought find he answers was answers for a two month old. How do you find answers? I can't tell you. No. And we're still today still trying to find answers. And we're learning to let go of that, you know, in the last, I'd say five years, you know, but just trying to make his life better is why we're searching too, you know, but. It doesn't um, need a label. It doesn't need a label, which is so look cool. Look at him. He's amazing. Yeah. He doesn't need it. He doesn't. I love that you've it. found peace with yeah. that because that yeah. is a struggle. Yeah. But I would say, you know, we were, I was, I, the people who were in our journey for the th first four years, Yeah. I didn't talk about it. You know, I didn't know. I didn't know how to explain it to them. I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't know myself. Yeah. Um, and I think for most moms that could relate to something like this, you might go through a rocky situation with a child, whether it's a disability uh, that's hardcore or a learning disability or just learning they can't read, um, all just even little things. It, just latching on. Latching like on. Like you said, breastfeeding. It that could is take, a huge struggle. Yeah. And this struggle was, I mean, the four years were the worst of it. And it takes time. I know people say that to you, but... Um, those every day, just find, you know, cling to those little moments that just bring you joy with that child, because they are, they are your life, they're your joy and you will find it. Um, but some people will take longer than others and that's okay too. So, yeah. yeah. But you know, 14 years later, we still kind of forget that we have these needs in our life because we just do it you oh, yeah. know it's so natural it's, it's so natural until we get you know so i love our little town because we don't get the looks and the stares and they all know carson the you know the comments um this year was the first year in a long time we got a lot of comments at the park you know what's wrong with him you know why is he doing that and little kids three four year olds walk up to me in a park and because he now has brothers carson has two brothers and we're started in baseball and now we're at the same park Carson's been out for 14 years, but everybody's grown out of it. Those 14 year olds are in their big oh, baseball, right. but Carson's still playing on the same park, the same rocks, so the same new kids, swing, the next new kids. Generation. He has all these friends and they don't judge. They don't judge, but they, they question. And I love it because I would never judge these little children for that. I think my gift is to explain that to them. You know, he's he's doing that flat hand flapping. Why is he doing that? Well, he's doing that because it makes him happy and he's maybe nervous because it's loud here. And I think that's my gift in this is to bring Carson there and show them that. And that's kids are just uh -huh. curious. curious. They are curious. They, they are things. not yeah. being mm -hmm. intentional. Mm -hmm. They're not saying, they're just like, well, mm -hmm. what's that? And you bet. And absolutely, I think yeah. that takes a big weight off even mm -hmm. other parents yeah. because you feel like you're being mm -hmm. polite by yeah. just, hey, shh, 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 don't, don't ask, don't, yeah. you know, yeah. don't worry about it. But it's mm -hmm. like, that's kind of not polite. Yeah. That's the more polite thing is yeah. most parents, yeah. I would say, wouldn't you agree that most mm -hmm. parents would rather you just say, mm -hmm. hi, mm -hmm. yep. what's your name? Yep. Can yep. we talk about you and be friends or before my name is when Carson was little, I definitely would would have shushed my kids. Don't yeah. say something about that kid. You know, we're going to someone's house. This child has a problem. Make sure you don't blah, blah, blah. Well, then my child would be scared. So like in the grocery store, for example, we might be walking down the aisle, which he doesn't come with me much anyway, but walking down in a, a little kid, just, just innocent and sweet would just say, mom, look at him, you know, look at what's he doing. And the mom would go, shh, 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 no, no, no. 
the best thing I think for a mom just is to, yeah, look at his shoes. Look at his smile. He's talking to you or smiling at you or, or just hi and walk away. It just normalizes it. Normalize it. Helps the child understand that. We don't want to scare that child. Um, That's the worst thing you can do. I mean, as a mom, but we feel like we're protecting. Yes. You know, the other, you know, the, the child with But ignoring it but makes more confusion, you bet. which creates for everybody. fear yeah, or fear. whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, these kids are incredible. I would say it doesn't, they don't really truly judge until around age eight or nine. So talk to them, you yes. know, explain it to them um, in that situation. You yes, know, while or, you're there. While you're there. Or if you're nervous, you can explain it before you go there in that situation. But hey, just bring them a book or it's the simple things. It's yeah. little teeny tiny things. Don't overthink so, it. Don't overthink it. No. And you don't even have to ask questions. You know, you can just... Hi, what's his name? Yeah. Yeah. What does nice he like to, to do? Yes, exactly. And you can, even though Carson might not look you in the eye, mm-hmm. he's listening, you yeah. know, and he might be looking down, but you can just say, hey, buddy. I have the yeah. best story. I have the best story. Okay, my listeners. So you know this, but I this is my first time seeing this kind of excitement. But we were at these hot springs here in Colorado. And we were out in this big pool. It's just nice warm pool and the kids. Mm -hmm. So Locke and Carson are very relatable. They're on kind of the same. Tell them again how old Locke is. Yes. So Locke is not even two yet. So Locke will be two in a couple months. So he's almost two. And I would put Carson Carson at a cognitive developmental age at about 18 months. Yes. So they're best friends. They're best friends. Oh my gosh. They have the funnest time together. Like one one of them is doing something and the Mm -hmm. other one's like, oh yeah, that's cool. Let me get in on that. Spatulas and bowls. Let me get in on that. Yeah. (laughs) Block the gate. Block block, the stairs. Block the the stairways. stairways. Yes. Yes. So So yeah. But anyway. Rick says, or the kids wanted to go down the slide one more time, and Rick jumps up. My husband, mm-hmm. Rick, you know, you, you guys will know him eventually. Yeah, yeah. He, he jumps up and says, okay, kids, we can go one more time. And I saw Carson's face just <gasps> light yeah. up like, uh-huh. you're not going without me. Nope. And he, he hadn't gone down yet. He hadn't had he, yet because no, he, he likes the pool down so down much. Yet. He likes the pool yet. And so they just He was waiting, it. So I it think. So it was really interesting that he knew. He knew what yes. they were doing. And he yes. was like, you are not leaving me out. I'm, and both of his hands went up and mm-hmm. his face just lit up. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he, you are taking him. He you is, bet. knows what you're doing and he's not getting left and out. And how cool that Rick included him in a way that it was just so simple. Yeah. Guys, we're going, he was saying it to the other boys, yeah. but he showed that. But it was he? part of Carson. Yes, it was exactly. Was part of it. Yeah. So you have, tell me about, mm-hmm. you are part of a nonprofit yes. in Morris where you're from in Minnesota. So what yes. is, are you guys, am I saying Minnesota, like a Minnesotan? Because anytime I hang out with Kelly, I want to clap, but I don't want to move. My Minnesota comes out. Minnesota. Yes. I, I hold my O's and my A's. I have a strong accent. <laughs> I love it so yes. Much. You're so cute. So in Morris, you've got, mm-hmm. you're part of a nonprofit. It's a there. nonprofit. So it's really kind of cool. It's, um, it was Arc of the greater Minnesota and we just changed the name. So I just switched over to president. So the old president is 80. Three years old. She is a mom of a girl with Down syndrome that she passed, um, I want to say, about 15 years ago. I grew up her, with her daughter, um, Down syndrome. And um, so this mom has taken this nonprofit and put her whole life into it. And, and the other couple of moms, too, a part of it, all have children that are older. Um, wonderful people in our community, but it's called, it used to be called the ARC. We just switched like the name. Like ARC? ARC, yep. And so it was Association of Retarded Citizens is what it's called, oh, okay. which that, you don't use that terminology anymore. So we're going to, we're like, we're going to change it. We want to get out of that corporation. Um, we want to keep all our money local. So um, we've been working really hard on changing the name. Um, and so we changed it to CARE. Um, and it's Care Incorporated. And so what we do is we raise funds for all the special needs in our area. So in our Stevens County, which is so fun. So we have a huge rose sale, huge. And all the local people buy roses. Oh, I'm sure. Um, so in April, we'll have a rose sale. And we have other little things too, but people are um, loving their roses. They get that. And it's just fun to be with moms in the community that have already been through this because their kids are older, but um, pretty fun pretty fun to do that in my spare time. Yeah. So, yeah. So tell me about what you guys have going on in the fall, in the fall oh, season for your kids. We have pumpkins. Oh so we, it's called the pumpkin shack and my boys, um, 
grow pumpkins from seed and plant them and grow them up and we'll cut them and wash them and then we go to pumpkin festivals or like fall festivals so we have one big one coming up um, and that is really fun we sell hundreds of pumpkins and we love it it's all the simple little things and Carson gets to help us that's the best part he's on the gator he's out there in the dirt with us he's planting you know he doesn't pick them up but he knows it's his happy place and yep. we're a family together doing the little things so. you guys are so outdoors too outdoors, and he yeah. is like Everywhere. loves the outdoors every yeah. time I see you posting and yeah. he is on the boat he is on the tube he is on the the sit, the sit ski yes. in Colorado everything yeah. I have oh, to yeah, give the sit ski. my I haven't husband seen that yet because we haven't yes done a winter with you yet so her husband Rick and my husband Matt um, are hunting buddies so Rick her husband gets to come to Minnesota and hunt but Matt gets all the credit for the sit ski we have a sit ski we ski we don't let it stop us you know we got to adapt we got to learn um what we can do, what we can't do, what works, um, figure it out. It's not, you can't ask one person. They don't have the answer. So we're going to ask a lot of people. We're going to figure out, figure out how to make things work for him and his life. I mean, that kid has a smile on his face more than most, you know, and it's a simple little thing. And that's what's that crazy. Has. That's what's crazy is mm -hmm. I hear a lot, especially with us traveling with traveling with kids is, is mm -hmm. that such a, culture cultural thing where people mm -hmm. are like what you can't travel with kids you can't once mm -hmm. you once mm -hmm. you have kids you have to stop traveling or it's yep. too hard to travel too with hard. kids yep. and it's like okay well i do it with my kids yeah but kelly is doing it with mm -hmm. her kids mm -hmm. and she is mm -hmm. knocking it out of the park yeah <laughs> nothing <laughs> sweet is yeah it's it's all about making things normal for yourself, yeah. giving yourself time so yeah. you're not stressed out, having yeah. the right tools. You bet. I, I talk about that all the time, having yeah. the right gear. The right, Traveling yeah. with kids, you, you have bet. to have the right gear. If it makes your life easier and yeah. makes you less of a stressed out crazy mm -hmm. person, mm -hmm. pay for the gear. Yeah. And it's not going to be perfect. The car Oh my gosh, the car's going Gina to be a got rat. here when Gina arrived. Just she opened sucks. the back and she had ducks. Were they ducks? Yes, little baby ducks. Little baby ducks in the back. I'm like, Surprise. See, you just get in the car, you just go, and you can stop along the way. But also, husband, wife, got to be in communication with what are we going to do? What's the plan? You know, and alter that. And too. you kind of find you your figure group. It and out. I think the reason it is hard for people when you say traveling is hard for even a couple or mm -hmm. or girls going on a girls weekend, you know, cuz even I do for a mm -hmm. girls weekend I pack four times mm -hmm. as much as I do packing mm -hmm. for my entire family right. on a trip. Um, right. I am my whole family I can pack in a backpack. Right. You do. But I've seen it. It's yeah. incredible. <laughs> but I'll go and be like, "Oh, I need everything. Uh -huh. I can't go without anything. I've got to have all the shoes. I have to have all the hats." Yep. And it's like, "Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. No, I don't." Yep. <laughs> this is silly. No, we, I think me and you have simplified. So our, that's what I mean. I think people wardrobe. just get stressed out yeah. because they're just not used to doing yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And they'll say, oh, it's exhausting. It's yep. like, well, really? Yep. You're right. We are doing it so much that yep. it does become second nature. It's kind of just like going to... Mm -hmm the grocery store mm -hmm. I mean that's pretty simplified no it's no it's awesome I think Matt and I when we saw you guys in Alaska what you guys do is keep it simple you're eating ice cream at home you're not getting every ice cream shop you know it's those little things too that you've figured out along the way that make it happen because you can't just you know splurge everywhere you go and and it's the the few bags that you have and we don't need everything and how good do you feel when so you don't good. have so much stuff and rick so steve thing. says he said in his traveling europe's disc whatever we we used to watch and he says you will never mm -hmm. come back from a trip and wish you packed more yep ever no you'll always wish you packed less and i think you guys say we'll just buy a new sweatshirt if we need it yeah a new one and yeah where so. where are we at we can buy yeah. socks we can yes. buy underwear it's yes. not that big of a deal or go without yeah exactly right. <laughs> yep without. we talked about that too we talked we? about that <laughs> well what about okay i want to go back to carson with as far as when we first met after we left Minnesota, mm -hmm. he was doing some testing or was it part of his school where he was there and they were kind of seeing where he was more. at and he was progressing and how he's progressing, but he was answering questions with claps, right? That's what you said. He yes. Was, and so he, he uses the PEC he can system do like, at yes, school, no, right? He can. Yes. The PEC system is a communication system for nonverbal and they, um, so it's like picture cards that he chooses it's funny because 
he doesn't do it well for me. <laughs> but he does it. He well. does it well. For Hello, school. is he a normal child? Yes, he is. So he so does not do ways. anything well yes. for his parents, but yes. for other people. Thank so and goodness. he is. He's progressing so well in school. Um, for summer, we're kind of like, hey man, we're gonna have fun. You know, this is your summer. Um, the pecs is great, and, and iPads are great, but that doesn't work for him either. So. I don't know. I think a mom just knows to what they need and school's like, we're going to, you know, we have such a great special ed he program. Needs outdoors. He needs outdoors. He loves it. You bet. And he he's thrives. happy, but he also does need some structure and everything too. Yeah. But yeah. So he's doing good with that. So, so uh, Jason crew are so yeah. sweet about it all. And great brothers. I mean, they're great brothers and there's, this is just normal for them. Everything's normal. This is just and normal. Jace is, else. how old's Jace? Jace is almost 10 and crew is six. So, um, they have learned from a very young age that they get bopped on the head as a baby and you're going to adapt with us. You are part of the family. He's not going away. We are not going to shoe him unless it was danger. Um, welcome, welcome to our family, little boys. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to make you the strongest boys that we can. And hopefully and the most compassionate, compassionate. Well, they're compassionate with Carson. Yep. <laughs> and they fight with each other and they fight. They are brothers they are after brothers. all. They yeah. are all brothers. But yeah, it's been really fun to watch. I would have never imagined that boys could care so well for another brother. I always kept thinking Carson's going to have sisters cause I'm going to need their help. I don't need a girl. I have these boys that are amazing. And I think some of it's already there, but it's accelerated with, you know, just modeling and explaining. And some days we're screaming about it. You will get him his toy because I need you, you know, yeah. but they're great and they're wonderful. But it's they just fight. family. They fight and we are what it we're is. a tribe. So I don't know. I kind of embrace the boy mom thing and hat thing and outdoor life and it's great, you know, and I think we just want to build a life that's free, more free from the stress that we just don't need. Um, and that is simplifying and that is traveling when we can and meeting new people and um, going back home. The simple joys of just going home to just our people and the people that have been on this journey with us. Um, that's the part that would get me emotional right there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there <laughs> you know, is. but here it comes Wayne. I know here comes Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm a people person. I need them and Carson needs them just as much. And he wants to go back home and see those people too. So, and his family and friends. Community is so important. Community That's the is, whole point of this. This bet. whole revitalized womanhood was created because and, community is so important. Yep. And just because I happen to put a structure into just for women because that's mm -hmm. who I understand and that's who I can relate to and that's what you know there are other communities that are for men and that mm -hmm. are for kids and that are for troubled teens and that are for you, you know bet. that's why these things are so well mm -hmm. adjusted and well adapted because everybody does need mm -hmm. community you and bet. appreciates it and feels it feels yep and I think some people human nature. really struggle finding it in the community they're in but they're forced there for their job I promise those people are there. They are there. They're in the coffee shop. You know, they're, they're at the gym. Um, it's, uh, they're at the school. They're at the park. Um, I think you've said it. Engage. Yeah. You you've, engage. You're engaged. You've said it, you know, in our Instagram stories too, that there is someone there. Invite someone, you know, from the gym to hang out. But um, that is what has made our life easier with the challenges we've had. And I know that everybody else has their challenge. Um, you want to push people away. But I've had plenty of people in my life that have held it in and that has only hurt them and it has hurt our relationship. But as soon as um, they open up and they just say, hey, you know, I'm struggling. That's great. We can finally like converse and have a good talk. And I think that's huge just to, it's okay. Um, no, well, I and just, you said that, yeah. well, sorry, you no. said right there. So I'm going to go back yeah. to it. You said they hold it in, but that's, mm -hmm. I think you were talking about that when this was all happening for you with mm -hmm. your first baby and everything. Mm -hmm. And you felt like, no, this is yeah. kind of my cross to bear yep. you and Matt, you kind of took it upon yourself and you didn't want to burden other people with it. You but bet. instead of thinking it, mm -hmm. thinking of it as no, yep. 
it takes a village. It takes a village. I need yeah. help. Yep. Mama needs to go have a little mm-hmm. sit down over here and mm-hmm. a glass of wine or whatever. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you definitely need to ask for help. Yep. You do. It's yep. not it's not showing that you're weak. It's not yep. showing that you can't do the job. It's yep. showing that you're human. Yeah. And you just need a little breather. Yeah. To go have a date night with your husband. Yep. And it's so you not, have to have yes, your people. Yes, you bet. And it's not complaining. You no. know, it's, you know, and there are some people that you can just tell they're, they can't handle that. They're stressed and that's okay too. But, um, yeah, I think with our challenges, I, I'm not scared anymore to have new challenges. They're going to come, um, and just embrace what your challenge is now, whether it is a child with special needs, um, it, in whatever spectrum that is at, um, even a typical child, they're just strong willed at this stage in their life, which is typical. That's great. But embrace that, find your one person or two or three. If you don't find it yet, Hey, keep looking. You're we're here. Yeah, we're here. Oh Come my on gosh. over. Revitalize womanhood. Drop me a comment. Everybody's if ready. I can't give you the mm-hmm. answer. I will find someone that can. I Did will, you? I will yeah. walk up to people and be like, do you know the answer to this question? I'm oh, just she asking will. for a friend. I don't. <laughs> yeah. And you're literally, like, I'm really asking for a friend <laughs> and you're writing it down. <laughs> no, I told Matt one time, uh, that my dream job would be to sit in a coffee shop and talk to women all day long. So yeah. I'm like, if anybody's in Minnesota, drive to Mars. I'll meet you in Alexandria. Put a coffee shop window oh. on the side of your house so they could just do a drive through. That. And they're just like, yes. we just go see that crazy that lady crazy in lady. Minnesota and She'll get a coffee. And we just have a little I'll, conversation maybe? on our way through. I uh, know I'm too much sometimes. <laughs> too much. I love it. I love it. I think it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. You're sweet. It's awesome. You're good. We're on. We're on. I wonder how our kids are doing. I they're down they by the fish. river. Down by the river. <laughs> <laughs> them kids is down by the river. We told them to feed them leftovers and take them fishing. Yeah. So yeah, no, they're good. I know. I'm so. surprised we haven't had lock banging on the door or anything. I think Rick he, must have gone. He left. Did he? Yeah. Well, you told him not to put lock down. So. I was like, please do not set him down. He will come in. <laughs> we all have to leave at like 4:30 in the morning, oh so we goodness. need like decent yes. bedtimes. So I'm like, don't put the baby down. Yeah, we, we gotta always go pack. Come. I know. Now that I've got this studio yeah. set up, I may never leave. No. Yeah. No, you're good. I'm just going to start recording no. all my podcasts from here and all the guests that rent this you're place so are funny. just going to be part of it. I just, like, so. well, and I hope though that I think people can hear your voice. You are a genuine, true, fun, real. You are so real. And that's what connected me to you is I didn't have to guard myself with you. You know, there was no guarding. It was just real, raw. This is as, as it is. Um, and I know people can hear that in your voice. And, you know, if they watch this, and your posts are right on, you know, and it has been so fun to watch you grow. I was there the day she, she kind of explained me the first week when she found out she was going to do this and man alive. It is so exciting. And this is why Kelly's my buddy. She's just, like do, do, my do. cheerleader Did you, in oh, my corner. My pom-poms are back there. Yeah. Oh. Get them out. Get them out, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly, I need a cheerleader. I told no. her we, I was coming down and I said, Kelly, I need a hug. Oh, <laughs> I just need And I forgot. So like oh, two God. minutes later, I was like, oh. <gasps> So, but we did. We did it. She drove nine hours to get a hug for me. I did. <laughs> you fill my cup. I was never a hugger, and I'm a hugger now. So. Oh, I'm a hugger. That's when I met Carson. That was yes. what you're like. Yes. I hope he's not just like in your face. And yes. I'm like, hey, yeah. as long as he's okay with hugs. Yes. Because I am a hugger. Yeah. And he will be trying to get away probably. And yes. he's like, mom, this yeah. lady, come mom. on. And, and he I'm loves like, come you. Come on, guys. He, he loves I you. I cannot believe him and Rick since he, uh, the Rick. whole slide incident. He's just been, yeah. they've Carson been buddies. Carson loves Rick. Yeah, you bet. And it's because Rick has, re, you know, a little bit more comfortable. And that's, He's yeah. met Carson twice and now he knows, I'll just talk to him. Yeah. No big deal. It's fine. I can't wait for them to meet Rick. Oh my gosh. What is <laughs> he that had, we had other friends here be? and sh- he had everybody here rolling. So I just can't wait for you guys to he meet was him. Sitting up in the head chair. Oh, like he, he loved was it. the chief. Like he was the head. <laughs> well, and here's me stories. like a little girl. I'm like, tell Rick, this story. Tell this one. I've heard, tell oh this. my Grandpappy, gosh. Grandpappy, tell I'm, this story. It was. You guys will <laughs> love him. We're all sitting around his feet. Tell <laughs> me the story. No, it really was. I have a picture of it. Oh, it's good. You guys so are so good. good. You guys are awesome. Awesome Thanks family. Thanks for being on here with me. Oh, this Thanks is for great. doing an episode with me. Thank you. Thanks I for really, having me. I didn't even have to think about it that hard. I was no. like, wow, I need Kelly on no, this. She you're pretty smart. Great message. You are so smart and witty and quick though. Like you just know to ask. I, this girl's dynamite. I, I'm so excited that everybody gets to meet you. This is your time. And you're going for Welcome it, Welcome to the Boost Gina show. <laughs> 
<laughs> no longer the revitalized womanhood show. It's the Boost Gina show. <sighs> Kelly, brought to you by Kelly. I actually found out. You saw your Enneagram. You're a three. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I'm a two wing three. So we're actually more alike than... I even thought I wanted to post that I was a three, but then I was reading about it. And I'm like, gosh, this I makes should... me sound like I'm a jerk. Like I'm just a, we got to find your wing. Like a, yeah. A wing. Oh, I do have yeah. wings. Cause they're actually, so I'm a three, mm -hmm. but if you look at, I think I'm a two yep. wing and I think an eight or something. If you look at them, they Ooh. all look exactly the same. Like they yeah. almost look exactly the same to me. An like eight the same is size. a mat though. I bet Rick's an eight. Oh, Ooh. we got to do That's it. why you guys get along We're going to so do well. that on one of these live events. When yep. we do a live event, you guys, we're going to do that. Is it called an Enneagram? Is Enneagram. that how you say it? Yep. I didn't know what that was. Until well, I don't know a lot like, of stuff that you and talk it's one about of either. The most, it's one of the most proven uh, personality tests now. Yeah. They've gone through so many and it's so a, many I years. I think it's so accurate. Is the most accurate. Yeah. So far, and so. it's not, I mean, it's just a guideline, but yeah, definitely it's not helps. Say, this is how you are. Or, you better be like stay this in, the box. in this box. But hey, if you have never taken it's it. Like I said, I have great. four of them that are almost the same yeah, size. Yeah, right. Exactly. You're so cute. I have no idea what that means. She's the same size. You're so cute. Look at me. When you guys see this on the YouTube <laughs> video, I'm I'm like behind my mic. So. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh, I guess this I can is bring so fun for me. us. Well, all right. I guess we should go figure out yep. if our kids are starving to so death. We're I know have I leftover am, crepes. So that sounds amazing. I know. That sounds amazing. Savory crepes. She said. Ooh, yeah. We'll do it. Cheese. As long as there's cheese in it. Oh, I just bought brie. Oh, my god. I didn't gosh. get the baby milk, but I got brie. <laughs> okay. One more story. When we went with this girl, she obviously knows exactly the kind of person I am because she took us to a dairy that had oh the best gosh. wine uh -huh. and the best cheese. cheese. I've ever had redhead creamery. Redhead oh. creamery. Oh, right. Yes, Britain. that just made me think. But yeah. do you want? Do you know the website yet? You're building the website. So for not Arc, but for, for care. care. And oh is it gosh. with a K or a C? We're gonna change it probably. It's care with a C. So so when we find out yeah. what this is or where we want these people to go, care. if they want to learn about it more, or if anybody would like to, if yeah. they're interested in learning more about it, yeah. I will drop it in these show notes. Yes, and then we'll. Get them in Perfect. the right place. But Thank if you. they're not in there and anybody really is interested in that when you're listening to this, please just reach out to me. Always. Yes. She that's what she wants. And honestly, too, um, they're trying to come in. They are. If anybody needs a mean or special needs mom or dad or grandma, I'm always I just have a baby, baby Instagram account. Message me. I would love to talk to you. That's what that's what I'm here for. So love it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, friend. Love you. Love you. I'm so excited for your journey. It's amazing. Hang tight, guys. You're you're, you're going to be in the back there with me every time something happens. I'll be like, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly. I'm okay with it. Oh, now we're just going crazy. <sighs> we're good. Thank so, you, everyone. Thank this you is so Revitalized Womanhood. Chad, you can edit that out. No. He got, you <laughs> no? can't. No. no. Chad, no. Do it again. <laughs> that was so good. Like it's my theme song? Yeah. Revitalize womanhood. Yes. <laughs> See, this is everybody wants to be her friend. Oh, my God. You're so good. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.